middle of January, it's absolutely freezing, but my challenge is to seek the sun, so I reckon I've struck lucky. Hi. Hi. I'm Vicky from Science Zone, so where am I going then? I'm under strict instructions not to tell you that, but I can oh. tell you, you need this kit, and you need to go immediately to gate number 12, which is just over here. It's fine. It's fine. A challenge to seek the sun. Sounds like a good excuse for a holiday. Here comes the sun and I say, it's all right. Right, let's have a look at here. Sunglasses. A beach ball. One thing Vicky doesn't need is suntan lotion, because she's about to find out she's heading for the Arctic Circle. Hello, this is uh, Captain speaking. I'd like to welcome my special guest on board, Vicky Kim from BBC Television. I understand that it's Vicky's first trip to the Arctic Circle. <laughs> there had to be a catch. Have a great time. So much for the sunbathing and the beach balls. Right, the Arctic Circle. I don't quite know where it is, actually. Somewhere up there, up the top, I think. The Arctic Circle is an imaginary line which circles the globe around the North Pole. Vicky's journey will take her beyond the Arctic Circle to the far north of Norway. She's flying to Tromsø, 320 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. It's a shame she's missing the sunset, because beyond the Arctic Circle, the sun can have rather different habits, as Vicky's about to find out. The Norwegian city of Tromsø is built on an island surrounded by icy seas. Fifty thousand people live here, with winter temperatures often well below freezing. It's 11 o'clock at night when Vicky finally arrives. I think the sightseeing better wait till daylight. I'll see you in the morning. Tromsø is the most northerly city in the world. It's still dark. It's now two o'clock in the afternoon and it's still dark, so I reckon I need a bit of assistance from the weather station. This is a sunshine meter which measures the hours of sunlight. So the sunshine meters all the way up here, is it? Yes, Vicky, it is. But why? It's because this is the best place to observe the sun. Oh. But you see, we don't use it now. We haven't used it for a long time because we know there's no sunshine to measure. Well, I was beginning to wonder, it's so dark. Yes, it's a dark time of the year. And for more than eight weeks now, we haven't had a sunrise. Well, so you're saying that for eight weeks we haven't had proper daylight here? That's right. 
we have either darkness <gasps> or twilight a few hours in the middle of the day. But isn't that, isn't that really horrible for people? It is. So mm. a lot of people get depressed at this time of the year. I bet. Yeah, I must say I start to miss the sun now. But what's the sun got to do with daylight? This is the world. And let's imagine this torch is the sun. The sunlight lights up this side of the world and it's daytime. On the opposite side, there's no sunlight, it's darkness, and that means it's nighttime. How do we go from day to night? It's nighttime in part of the world, but it's daytime in other parts. Britain faces the sun. It's daytime. But the other side of the world is in darkness. In Australia, it's the middle of the night. But the Earth rotates. As it rotates, parts of the Earth that were facing the sun turn away from it. The Earth rotates one complete turn every 24 hours, so day is followed by night is followed by day for most of the world. But in Tromsø, things are rather different. We have on the dying in the world. In Tromsø, the night seems to last forever. As midday approaches, a faint golden glow appears in the sky, but the sun doesn't rise above the horizon. And before you know it, it's dark again. If that's all we have, you will find we need nothing more. So Vicky's got to find out why this happens. But what on earth is she up to now? She won't shed any light on it that way. Imagine drawing a line between the North and South Poles. The Earth rotates around this line. It's called an axis. In winter, this axis is tilted away from the sun, so the sun's rays can't reach the far north. Here, it stays dark all day. In midwinter, there's a whole circle of land about the North Pole, which is always dark, and that's the Arctic Circle. And of course, Tromsø lies in here. It's still dark, but this is the northernmost planetarium in the world, so they must have some answers. A planetarium is a good place to find out about planets like the Earth and stars like the Sun. And when Vicky arrives, they're showing a film. The sun, a giant ball of extremely hot gases, millions of miles away from Earth, and yet so bright that it can light up the Earth and give us daylight. North of the Arctic Circle, sometimes the sun never rises. For two months in the middle of the winter, the sun is not above the horizon. Long, dark nights seem to go on forever in the middle of the winter. The brightest it gets in the middle of the day is the midday twilight, a dim half-light which never really becomes daylight. The land north of the Arctic Circle isn't always dark. In the summer we have the opposite situation. 
the snow is melting, and we have got a continuous sunshine 24 hours a day. For two months in the middle of the summer, we have continuous daylight. The sun is shining all day and all night here in the land of the midnight sun. So Vicky, now you know the secrets of the Arctic Circle. Yes. Found out that in the winter, it's always dark. Yes. But in the summer, it's always light. Mm -hmm. But isn't that really weird? I mean, do, do people actually sleep in the summer? Yes, they do. Indeed, it's no problem sleeping in the, the middle of the summer. The real problem is in the middle of the winter when it's dark all the time. Oh, that's really weird. But, so people get disorientated in the winter? Mm -hmm. They do. But Frank, what I really need to know is why on earth have I been sent here in the middle of January? It's going to be permanently dark. No, you are closer to finding the sun than you really think. Oh. But she's going to have to do some thinking first. Yeah, I might have guessed. It's the 20th of January, and already something seems to be happening in the sky. Isn't it just a little brighter than usual? But first, we sent Vicky back to school to find out just what's going on. At last, she seems to be getting somewhere. Hi! I've been told to come here to find the sun, and something tells me I'm on the right track. Am I right? Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah, but what, what's going on there? We're having a party, and you're invited. Come with us. Right. It's all right. Somebody's trying to tell me something here. Oh, wow, look at these. The sparks of sun. Wait until the party Next, she's taken outside to the site of the party, a hillside with a very special view. So, come on, what are we doing up here then? At 12 o'clock tomorrow, all the people in Tromsø will look in that direction. All right. The truth dawns. I've got it. So tomorrow is the first day that the sun comes up after the winter. Is that you got right? it. Yeah. Right. It's called a day of the sun. The day of the sun. Ah, and that's why we got the sun balls and the sun pictures for the party. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Right. I've done it. So yes. what do you think about all this? Is it nice that the sun's coming back? Yes, yeah. it's really nice. Because it's been dark for how long? Two um, months, I think. Two Gosh. and a half. Well, that's quite a long time, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we really ought to make this party quite a celebration, don't you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. So the Arctic Circle isn't always dark, only in the winter. That's because the Earth moves around the sun. In winter, the North Pole is tilted away from the sun. But as the Earth moves around the sun, you can see the amount of daylight increasing in the north. The days get longer in the north in springtime. By June, the Earth has moved round the Sun, so the North Pole is now tilted towards the Sun. The Earth takes a whole year to orbit the Sun, and it's this which gives us seasons. It's back to winter again. The Arctic Circle and Tromsø are in darkness, but by the 21st of January, the Earth has moved just beyond its midwinter position. Now, as Tromsø rotates towards the sun, for just a few moments, the sun's rays can just reach as far north as Tromsø. It's the day of the sun. It's the 21st of January, early in the morning, and everyone's heading for a party, and for the best view of the sun, of course.
everyone celebrates in different ways. It's late morning, but the sun still lingers below the horizon. Right, it's almost 12 o'clock and we've all made it up here and there's a real feeling of excitement and everybody's looking south. Almost noon. The earth turns Tromsø towards the sun. You can see its glow in the south. Yes! It's a wonderful feeling to see the sun again after a long, dark winter, but only for a few minutes today. But tomorrow, it'll stay a little longer, and the next day, longer still. Summer is on its way, and the party goes on all day. Or is it all night?